What's up guys, welcome back to go back to another video and in today's video we're working on the 135 my n 5435 I'm gonna be trying to actually get that thing perfect today. We do have Jonathan over um, He's gonna actually be parking the car right here I didn't move this car out though real quick. So one second guys a lot uglier in this video and I look a lot younger too. I look super weird any hill Honestly, if my job wasn't filming myself, um, I would not be showing myself right now, but it is what it is, you know, so <laughs> You guys saw in the last video. I burned my face from the coolant. It was absolutely Unanticipated my wife was like why weren't you wearing goggles? And you don't wear goggles when you're trying to replace a serpentine belt You know that hose snapping was seriously unanticipated, but anywho it is what it is Just thank God I didn't hit my eyes or anything major. Come on focus little dude. I think it's a lesson learned though Yeah, it is a lesson learned so be careful with coolant hoses don't mess with coolant Especially hoses. when the car is hot like I mean cool. it's whatever when it's cold but when it's hot. Oh my god I went down, we got some cream for it, we're taking care of it, but it's looking really ugly. So if you're looking at me and you're like, why are you looking hella ugly all of a sudden? Be like, I don't know, man, it is what it is, you know? It's life. It's life. Oh, wait, 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 before we get into the video, I just want to go ahead and say that this video is sponsored by Audio. I used to work with them a long time ago. I absolutely love their products. Every time they release something new, it's pretty cool, and it always improves. This is their portable jumper pack. You guys can leave it in any of your guys' cars. If your car ever dies on the side of the road, you don't have to rely on somebody else on the road to get you back on the road if you have this in your trunk you are good to go this thing even charges your phone so if you love camping honestly you can take this you can charge your phones it has a flashlight so if your car breaks down or if you're going out camping or whatever it may be you can use the flashlight at night go ahead and figure out what's going on in the engine bay if you need to jump it go ahead and jump it if you got to plug in any USB device, you definitely can to charge it. This is pretty awesome. Plus, what's super awesome, check out the quality. Look at this bag. This really allows you to take it literally anywhere. It has its own pouch for the cables and the actual tool itself. And guys, look at the quality. Oh my God. This thing is just so nice. So if you guys click it once, it shows the percentage of battery power this thing has. If you hold down on the power button, you get a flashlight, which is super awesome. And as easy as that guys pretty much jump your car. This is definitely a handy tool that everyone should have in their cars for any emergency Like I said guys must have tool make sure to check out that link down below guys If you guys want to cop this and again guys huge special shout out to Audi without further ado Let's get back into the video and now that we're back into the video Um, let's go ahead and give you guys a special shout out to everyone that cop merch since the last video and now guys I think it's time for them shout out so huge special shout out to Nafel, Amaru Wagen, Nath Zara, Octavio Pong, Randy Lowe, Deron Spencer, Adis Hasmovic, I think uh, his brother or somebody purchased uh, just recently, so huge shout out to him. And Kevin Gorilla, huge special shout out to all you guys who contributed to the build. You guys' names will also be featured on the M5 plaque. Hopefully gonna be getting that car on the road as soon as possible. But in the meantime, let's get right back into the video. So yeah guys, if you guys wanna cop some merch down below, you'll be shout out in the next video. You'll be supporting your man with all of his, uh, you know, hoopties and his endeavors. That'd be absolutely amazing and I would appreciate it so much. Without further ado, we're gonna be trying to work on the one series. We're gonna be trying to replace the front bumper. We do have a new bumper, 1M style from Keys Motorsports. And we actually have a front lip, a carbon fiber lip for it as well. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. We have a 1M bumper, 1M lip. Never actually had this lip before for this car either. And then we also got some smoked out turn signals for the 135 as well. And then we also did get some brakes if we need it. Uh, we're gonna go, go do the inspection and see if we need to do the brakes or not. I'd prefer to do the brakes and rotors. I do have brakes though. So if they say we need to do brakes and rotors, I already have brakes, we just need to order rotors, but if they say that everything's good to go, I'd rather not replace any of it, to be honest, and just, and just do the brakes with the rotors when the time comes, because the rotors does have a slight lip to it, and when you put new, uh, pretty much brake pads on bat or old rotors, or rotors with lips on it, it just messes up the new brake pads, so, you know. Before we actually get into all that, Jonathan did come over uh, with his, uh, one I mean, not one thirty-five, three thirty-five. We did lower it, but I think we want, we need to raise it. I think we went a little too low. <laughs> yeah, he is he is straight burning his quarter panel on both sides. His wrap is destroyed. He's actually rewrapping the car now because of this. Probably. I mean, the thing is I'm really deciding on what to do at this point. I like the red, but also I want to switch it up because, you know, it's fun to switch it up. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm trying to decide which colors to go with, so... Yeah. Let them know down below. Yeah. Read the comments, Johnny. Read the comments. <laughs> but yeah, in the meantime, we do need to raise this because also it is actually putting some wear on your tire as well. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So uh, let's go ahead and just uh, remove these wheels. I, th I think the rears are a lot easier. It's let's so easy. It's, yeah, yeah. It's easy with two people. I tried it. 
for like by myself, it took three hours and I didn't get anywhere with the progress because I feel it. Help with like there's a there's just like one the control arm just needs to get lined with the two holes. That is probably the hardest was, part. That's the only part I couldn't do by myself. Yeah, yeah. So let's just learn to knock this out real quick and then uh, here's the before, guys. I mean, I honestly I wish it was coilovers at this height, bro. It'd be perfect, but uh, I was thinking about that too. Coilovers. Coilovers. It is oh, money though. How much more money I want to spend? I, I would get another build for now. Yeah. <laughs> Worry about coilovers later. Always think of you when spring comes, like it's something in the air at that time. Don't know why. Always dream of you when spring comes. It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time. Met you on a Friday, halfway out at the door of the club, please. Alrighty, guys, so we have a stock suspension back. Unfortunately, it is a lot higher, but at least he's not gonna have any more rubbing issues until he gets coilovers. But for the meantime, until he gets coilovers, this is more than fine. At least he's able to drive. He's not gonna burn his quarter panels down. So definitely a big plus. Now let's go ahead and get our 135 in here. We need to work on a couple things. This light is absolutely shot. So uh, we did get some LED ones right here from Amazon. So let's go ahead and just put these on. If you guys like the way they look, make sure to check out the link down below. I have an affiliate link. Uh, so you guys will be supporting the channel if you cop these. So let's go ahead and throw those bad boys on before we actually put on the bumper because uh, that's just a little detail. So at this point, uh, we we're removing this bumper mainly because the tabs here are broken from an accident or something, very minor accident, and also the paint is chipping. We're gonna have to repaint it. And the most expensive thing about a bumper conversion, honestly, is the paint. So we decided, you know what, instead of just repainting the same bumper, let's go ahead and just get an M Sport one. We got one from Keys Motorsports. Uh, it's right over there. So let's go ahead and get it for you guys. So yeah guys, I've actually gotten this bumper from Keys Motorsports. This is my third time because I absolutely love this for every one series. Literally the 1M style bumper looks so good. For my girls, gonna be doing a real 1M bumper. So it's gonna be a lot wider and we're trying to match up with the 1M fenders and the 1M hood. So we're gonna be doing the real 1M conversion on that one on for this one. Um, honestly, we just need to replace the bumper. So a 1M style looks so good. Again, I've had it in so many other cars. So we're gonna go ahead and install this bad boy into this. And we went ahead and got the one without the washer system. I'm hoping we can just go ahead and just put it over i think it'll look a lot cleaner i really hate these guys honestly as long as it goes over and it looks clean it doesn't actually like affect anything i think this is gonna look so good on it also guys i don't know if you guys noticed but keys motorsports now actually has these grills on the sides as well this looks so much better the last two bumpers i got didn't have this i don't think uh, i don't know if you guys can see it but yeah it's got a grill right there now we got a grill in the center and now we actually have these grills these are actually only going to direct air we're not actually going to put any fog lights but yeah i'm super stoked this bumper actually looks so 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 good and the car is actually black so it'll look good just as it is go ahead and throw it on uh three two one the old boys and now we're gonna go ahead and throw on the new one all we gotta do is pretty much put on those two girls luckily we don't have fog lights or anything yeah, no, and uh, actually since we don't have the washer system thing either it's gonna be so much nicer bro it's gonna look, clean. It's it's gonna look, look so good. good especially on black guys i cannot wait to get this thing paint match that's right, so literally what we're gonna go ahead and do put on the bumper and go get this thing painted exactly <laughs> i think it's gonna look so good so uh um oh we do need our grills yes we will need to get the grills out of that later not a big deal but we do need to get those uh let's just go ahead and put those two mini grills on both sides I, I am straight up. I, you can never be disappointed with the Keys Motorsports bumper. Honestly, dude. Bro, the fitment is so good. Bro, it Literally, looks so good. Literally, they're going to make this even better, honestly, when they actually uh, paint everything. And they're going to actually have to take off the bumper to paint it anyway. So this is going to be insanely nice. I actually need to get a new emblem, too. This dude's car is going to look so good. It's going to look really good, dude. We need, oh, also have a bunch of detailing products from Hydrocelic. So uh, me and Jonathan, if Jonathan has free time, I want to <laughs> detail this car. It yep. look absolutely perfect with their products. So... Uh, definitely gonna be expecting a video on that once we actually just get this thing to the back from the body shop. I would do it today, but 
Every time a car comes back to the body shop, it is filthy. So don't want to do it now. All that yeah, work. And no, it's pointless. Yeah. yeah. So any of you guys, let's go ahead and clean the car and uh, start heading down to the paint shop and uh, oh. hopefully pop off this bad boy. It's Dude, so it looks good, so good. Oh man. Just got the two grills on there. He's probably gonna have to take off the grills and the bumper and everything. But guys, just take a look at that bumper. Oh my God. Hopefully you guys in the next video, you guys will be able to see this thing fully painted. And I uh, hope we'll have the cats on here and fully registered also in the next video. That's gonna be the goal. Uh, but yeah, it's picking up the car, hopefully fully painted in the next video. Dropping it off to also get the cats done. Possibly doing brake and light and smog and everything. I actually need to order some rotors for this car. But uh, uh, man, guys, this thing is looking super good. Right, guys just dropped off the car and uh, hopefully we'll pick it up in a few days the goal is to pick it up by Wednesday because we also want to do the cats as well so if we can do the cats on Wednesday and then just get this thing painted it'll be pretty ideal but without further ado let's head home it's been a long day but a very productive day so I'm pretty happy and this pretty much brings us to the end of the video guys and uh, yeah I'm, I'm slowly healing it is just scabbed up really 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 badly and I'm putting on the creams I did go down to the hospital I did get checked up and basically it is considered third degree burns and I am pretty much just taking care of it the coolant was actually no joke and thankfully I had a full beard when that thing hit me right here. You guys can see that like literally it's in the area exactly where my beard was at. I can only imagine if I didn't have my beard right then and there, it probably would have been a lot worse. So huge special shout out to my beard. He special shout out, God bless, that I didn't get in my eyes or anything else. Something like that could have been prevented if I honestly looked around everywhere, but at the same time, it's like, I, I, I didn't know, I never had that hose snap on me, and apparently I read in the comments, once the video went live, and a lot of you guys said that that hose snaps like it's nothing. So, uh, you know, you live and you learn, it's life, uh, but uh, thank God, at the end of the day, it's all good. That's gonna pretty much conclude the video, guys. The 135 is hopefully gonna get finished painted up, and then we'll get the cats on there, and then we have a few other plans for that. The 7 Series, still trying to figure it out in terms of the transmission situation and then the m5 we're just waiting on that clutch of flower one it might be going down to la and also doing the rod bearings and a whole bunch of other things at ssr performance so there's gonna be a lot of things getting done to the m5 a lot of money being spent so again guys if you guys can support the channel just cop some merch down below that'd be amazing i'll also be shot in the next video but without further ado guys it's pretty much the end of the video i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out